Hi everyone and welcome to Sultan Sanctuary NG Plus walkthrough. This is part four, and this is a short, short, shorter video than uh, before. And I don't remember why, but we're gonna fight two bosses though in the same video, so I, I guess it, it compensates, right? So I wanted to talk a little about a subject that I still don't understand. I think I've talked about it. I, I talked. I talked about it before, but I think I don't get it. Is this expectation of people that it has over consoles, gaming consoles, not related to the games or exclusives that they were they're going to release? Like this is what I don't get when someone says, like this console is going to be a piece of fucking trash. Right? And the console doesn't even have exclusives yet. Or or it has little to no exclusives. And I'm not defending the Xbox One. I'm not defending the, police, the PS4. I guess I'm defending both at the same time. Even though the Xbox One for me is a, is a piece of trash. But really, they just have no fucking uh, exclusive games. And people... Is are all over the fucking console war already without having played a single game that's worth mentioning what what can you mention about the PS4 right now that is worth mentioning like an exclusive game what, what, what are you gonna say knack fucking knack uh, maybe infamous second son that's a good game kind of but is it a system seller? It's not. Like I remember every time I bought a console in my in, in my past. The the first time that I bought a, a, a Nintendo Entertainment System. Of course I didn't bought it, my my parents did. Uh I, I bought it alongside a video game, and that game was Super Mario and the first time that I bought a, 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 Sega, Ma a Sega Mega Drive, that was the the, mo the original model, I bought it with Sonic, because it, it looked really, really cool. And the first time that I bought, uh, let me see, uh, PlayStation 1, it was for Resident Evil, because it looked cool. The first time that I bought uh, Nintendo 64, it was for Super Mario 64, and later for Zelda. And... Uh, and so on and so forth. I mean, I even owned a, a Dreamcast, which I bought because I saw gameplay of Shenmue, and Shenmue really sold the console for me because I wasn't sure about Sonic Adventure, even though Sonic Adventure turned out to be the last best, the last good Sonic game ever. Uh, and after that, it, it, it had, so the Dreamcast had a lot of good titles, but I'm not gonna go into that. The, the, the point here is that people are like just expecting to uh, like get a solid opinion of their console while they have no games still and is this is this people's fault not entirely because remember when the consoles released uh, in the markets they already had like a like a solid five or six exclusives already Right? I mean, even we, even the Wii U launch without the without the Mario game, which never happened in history. So I have to wonder here, uh, what happened with this generation of consoles? Uh, because how much, how much we are in already? Like, is, this is the, the the second or third year. Is this the third year that, that the consoles released already? No, I think it's the second one. It could be the third one. And just name me one exclusive that is worth buying a console for. It doesn't matter X Xbox One or, or PlayStation 4. It doesn't matter which one. Just name one exclusive that is worth getting a PlayStation 4. Or, a, or an Xbox One. Like. Maybe for the Xbox One you might say now, I mean like right now, after two years, you might say Quantum Break. But you might be wrong because Quantum Break 
turned out to be not what everyone expected to be, you know, the system seller. And Gears, Gears of War 4, which in other times it would have already came out a long time ago, it has still not come out. And for the PlayStation counterpart, just name one game. Name one game that is worth getting a PlayStation 4. An exclusive game. What are you gonna say? Like if infam infamous Second Son or, or Kill Son? Those are good games. I have them both and they are good games. But they're not system sellers, guys. System sellers are God of Wars. System sellers are uh, I don't know uh, Uncharted. And Uncharted is going to be released in May. That means after two fucking years. So what I'm left wondering here is why did the console war even started before the consoles began to have good games? Because I'm pretty sure Naughty Dog is not gonna drop the ball like Remedy did. I'm pretty sure Uncharted 4 is going to be fucking incredible. If not if not the best Uncharted, it's going to just almost be the best Uncharted ever. And I'm left wondering, uh, after Uncharted, uh, what other exclusive do we have that we are going to have on, on the PS4? Um, and I'm thinking about it, and I'm thinking about it, and I can't come up with anything. Like, is Neo going to be an exclusive? I don't think it's going to be an exclusive. I think it was rumored to be an exclusive. But I don't know if it's worth it anyway. It's not, it's not going to be a system seller, maybe it's going to be a system seller, but not now. Not, so, not certainly now, when it's unreleased and probably it's going to be pushed back to 217. Um, and God of War, I think we have a, a good solid two years for God of War to, to come out still. So we're gonna have the first console to ever release. And that's my death with the fucking Chester boss fight. We're gonna have the first generation that's ever released that doesn't have almost any worth uh, system seller game. And that's kind of that's kind of odd. That is really kind of odd because I always remember in the history of consoles. Uh, like the console releasing with the game like you bought the console thinking about a certain game never the other way around you never bought a console and then waited for the games and this was the first time that I did that that I personally did that this is the first time that I went for the for the PS4 before realizing that I was going to have to wait two years plus and play a lot of remastered versions because just I don't know the developers were kind of sh like shacking off and, and, and don't paying attention to release dates, I guess. I don't know. Everything got pushed back. And I understand. Uh, I, I totally understand uh, not rushing a game. That please don't rush a game, and, and much more a, a huge game like Uncharted or, or God of War. No, don't rush it. Take your time, guys. Seriously. But uh, one thing is take your time and another thing is take like five or six fucking years in releasing the next the next game, the next sequel. That's fucking ludicrous. And the announcement of the PlayStation 4.5 is like the worst thing that can happen for a PlayStation 4 owner. It's like really. And well, we, we are already on the end of the video. We, we, we killed two bosses. I'm going to talk about the 4.5 PlayStation 4 in the next video guys uh, thanks a lot for watching and, and, and hearing this entire rant and we'll see each other in part 5 take care